Hello everyone, this is your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black, the one and only, here with another exciting video. And in this video, I am going to be reacting to the brand new Super Sentai series that just dropped today. Um, I'm now hard pressed to say this name, uh, Kikai Sentai Zenkaiger. I apologize if I mispronounce that. I don't know how to speak Japanese, um, but I am a big fan of Super Sentai. Um, so Super Sentai, for those who don't know, is essentially the Japanese show that Power Rangers gets its action footage from. Um, there are a lot of people in the West who don't know about Super Sentai, but essentially whenever you see the Rangers suit up and fight, or you see like the massive like Megazords battle, um, that footage is being normally taken from the Super Sentai series. Though there are now like clips of action in Power Ranger shows that are also made in the US, so it's not all Japanese footage, but you know what I mean. Um, so what's cool about this 45th anniversary Super Sentai series is that they're doing something a little bit different, I would say. So the main premise is that um, the main hero of the story is a human from planet Earth um, whose parents are these scientists who are inventors who discover that parallel worlds exist. And essentially, they learn about all the different Power Ranger teams that exist throughout the multiverse. So they create these special devices that kind of like guns um, and these gears that you can put inside of the guns that allow you to transform not directly into the Power Rangers from previous uh, generations who are represented in this as being Power Rangers from other universes, really Super Sentai soldiers from other universes, because they don't call them Power Rangers in Japan. Um, instead of you becoming them, you're able to use the gun in order to get their powers. So essentially, the character designs that you see here are the character designs that they have in the show proper. But instead of them changing their design to match the design of the hero whose power they're using, they just use the power of that hero. In this episode, we got to see them use... Um, the power of a zoo ranger. Uh, so one of the characters is able to fly and they had like a sonic like bird scream attack that they used. Um, we also got to see someone use one of the ninja ranger powers um, in which they use like super speed in order to cut up a bunch of bad guys. So that was pretty cool. Um, but essentially what happens is that the main character's parents, those scientists, they disappear. And presumably around the same time, I think, our universe merges with a universe called Kikai. And the Kikai universe essentially has a whole bunch of machine people, essentially these like robot men. Um, and we live in harmony for a while. It seems like Instead of it being a thing where it's like, oh, they're invading and it's like horrible that mankind and the Kikai can like coexist. But the Kikai are actually ruled over by these evil robots uh, that I'm just going to call the Toji because I don't remember the full name for the evil robots. And essentially the evil robots don't care about anyone that they perceive as being lower class than them, which is literally everybody else. And what the evil robots are trying to do is they're trying to collect every world in the multiverse as a gear. Uh, gears are a thing that continually occur throughout this, like as a theme or whatever. So they're capturing all these different universes as gears, and our universe is the last universe to be captured. And they've decided that instead of trying to capture our universe inside of a gear, like they did all the other universes, they're going to try to invade our universe. Um, and take it by force. And they explain that the reason why they want to do this is because when they invade by force, they actually get to take more of the territory, where when they trap it in a gear, I guess they're only getting like part of the world rather than the entire world. Um, so that's their explanation. For this last world, they want to collect as much as possible. Um, so essentially when the Toji attack, the Toji do just kind of look like the Kikai, except they kind of look like more evil versions of the Kikai. So the humans don't really know how to differentiate the Kikai, like the good robot people that they've been living with, and the Toji from one another. So now humans are all kind of afraid of both the Kikai and the Toji. Um, our main character discovers that his parents created those guns I was telling you about before, 
and he decides that he's not going to give up and that he wants to save the world from the Toji. So he grabs a couple of the guns, he becomes this main character that you see standing in the center, who, by the way, to me looks a lot like a common Rider. He has like a very common Rider uh, inspired design, I would say, with like the big beetle eyes and everything like that. That's just the feel that I get from him. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, but I love his design. Um, it's very simple. I like the rainbow colors. Um, I like the white setup. His normal outfit and his civilian identity uh, is very similar to this. I also think that this design is supposed to be very similar to like the original Super Sentai design as well. Um, you can definitely see elements of that. Um, but he's like a really high energy dude. He's all about trying to be like the first person to do something like amazing for the first time. Um, and he has this catchphrase where he talks about how he always wants to go full power nonstop. But he's super peppy and essentially he goes out and he starts fighting the toji and that's when he meets uh the red guy that you see on this poster now the red guy um he's a kikai so he's one of the good machine people and he seems to just want to like party he very much enjoys like partying and getting to know people he's social and he wants to like protect humanity he has nothing against the humans he thinks the toji are kind of jerks um but the toji don't seem to actually like hate him like they they see him as less but when they like indiscriminately are attacking like humans and kikai they identified him as like a commander like among the kikai he's kind of like higher up so they're like oh like help us like beat up these humans and the other kikai and he's like nah that ain't me and he helps to save a kid and as he's saving the kid the main character sees that and he's like, oh, you're one of the good guys. Uh, here's one of the guns that my parents made. Let's transform and like kick ass. So we get our first like big transformation sequence. The two of them uh, fight off against the key guy. They discover how the gears work and use their abilities. And then things get kind of crazy. So the Toji introduce, you know, the big kaiju. You always have to have like a big monster that our heroes like face at the end of like a Super Sentai episode. And instead of them summoning like Zords or like a Mega Zord to fight, um, they learn that if you flip the gears upside down that you put into their like morpher guns, that it allows you to grow to giant size. So the red one does that and he becomes a giant, but then he reveals that he has the power to transform into a dinosaur. So he transforms into like a robot dinosaur while in his giant form, and he fights off the giant monster as a robot dinosaur while the main character deals with like the normal sized monster on the ground. And you get to see them both use like their special abilities and their final attacks in order to defeat the bad guys. And the episode more or less ends with them establishing that now mushrooms are growing out of people's heads. Like they're setting up like the next big bad. And it seems like in the next episode, they're going to introduce another one of the uh, Kikai who are going to be joining the team. Because from what I understand, it seems like we're going to have one human ranger who's like the main character. And then the rest of his team are going to be Kikai, who instead of them summoning a Megazord, they like are Megazords in their own right. Well, maybe not Megazords, but they are Zords in their own right kind of thing. And I think based on the preview that we saw at the end of the episode, they'll be able to actually merge with each other to become Megazords with the main character being the pilot. Now, what do I think of the series? Um, I will say, if you're looking for something that's like super serious and like edgy with like a dark tone, this probably isn't gonna be the series for you. It's very lighthearted and fun and silly, um, but the action is like over the top not all the effects are like, oh, wow, these are like super good looking effects. Like some are like fairly cheap looking, but that's kind of par for the course, I would say, for a lot of Super Sentai stuff. And I'm totally down with it. Like to me, it's you get used to it kind of thing. And it's almost like what you expect to see. Uh, so to me, it just kind of already looks fine. If you're turned off by like cheaper CGI, though, then you may not be a fan, but you also probably weren't watching Super Sentai to begin with if you're not a big fan of like cheaper CGI. Of course, they still use practical effects, and that's always good to see whenever they do have like practical action. 
Um, but I loved the over-the-top action. Um, I dig the energy of the main character. Um, I'm sure he probably rubbed a lot of people the wrong way because of the fact that he's so like energetic and optimistic. Um, but I like that. I feel like it has like a good drive to it. It gets you excited to see him interact with other characters. And being an eccentric person myself, I like seeing eccentric characters who are also really happy about the world. Um, it's just nice to see someone who's like dedicated to helping people and who never gives up and is always like smiling kind of thing. It's really cool. But um, I like the main character. I like the designs. I think the concept of having the rangers themselves also be the zords is a really cool idea. I definitely vibe with that. Um, I have mixed feelings about them gaining the powers of previous generation rangers using the gears. Um, originally, what I thought, because I heard that this was going to be an anniversary series, similar to, um, I don't remember the Japanese name, but the Power Ranger equivalent is like Power Ranger Super Mega Force. And in Power Ranger Super Mega Force, they could turn into like previous Rangers. So I thought I was going to see a whole lot of like transformations. And I get that they didn't want to do that again, but them getting the powers of the previous generations, for some reason, I've always found that to be a little less interesting. Like, I like it and I don't like it at the same time. I like it because I think the new character designs are awesome. And I enjoy seeing them on screen using, like, different abilities. Um, and I'm glad that they don't have to, like, swap out these designs with previous designs. Um, because I don't think all Super Sentai designs are created equally. I don't think they all necessarily look fantastic. But these do, so I'm glad that we get to keep seeing them. But for some reason them adapting the powers but not changing appearance is just less appealing. Uh, so, for example, I'm a big fan of Ben 10. And in Ben 10, they'll occasionally show Ben's future self, Ben 10,000. And there's a version of Ben 10,000 who's ultimate Ben 10,000, and he doesn't transform into the aliens. He just gains their abilities. And it was weird. Like, I don't know. Like, there's an appeal to it. But at the same time, it just kind of feels a little odd, I guess. So I don't, I don't know. I'm torn on that particular, like, topic. Um, but I definitely think it's cool, the powers that they did show off. Um, I think flight is a power that I really enjoy seeing in live action. Um, I love seeing characters, like, fly around. So I'm glad that flight was one of the powers that we got to see demonstrated. Um, super speed, I feel like, is something that we constantly see in live action. Um, but it was still cool to see uh, the robot guy use the super speed in order to chop up the bad guys. Um, am I going to continue watching the series? Most definitely. Uh, I'm excited to see how it continues um, and to learn the personalities of the different, like, Kikai Rangers. I want to see the different uh, Power Ranger powers that they pull from. I'm curious if they're going to have a weapon equivalent to the abilities that they gain. Because, sure, there are plenty of Power Rangers that have special abilities, like their own superpowers. But um, there are also just plenty of Power Rangers that just have, like, cool gear. Like, awesome, like, items they use and, like, power weapons. So I would hope that with these, like, gears, they not only can, like, grab the powers, but also maybe, like, summon some of, like, the weapons from previous generations of Power Rangers. I think that'd be really cool. Um, but what are your thoughts on Kikai, Zint well, Kikai Sentai Zenkaiger? Um, do you guys want to check out the show, like, if you haven't watched it already? Um, have you guys already seen it? And if so, what are your thoughts? Um, do you guys want me to talk about future episodes of the series as they come out? Definitely let me know in the comment section below and on our Discord. If you guys have any video ideas for me, uh, tell me on my Discord. If I like your idea, I'll make your video a reality, but I'll charge you for it. Uh, meaning that it'll cost you $7 per hour length of the video, with a $7 minimum if you want a video that's less than an hour long. And of course, you get to specify the length. Um, if you guys just want to help support the channel in general, feel free to donate to our Cash App. Link in the description box below. And if you guys are a fan of AI Dungeon 2, then make sure you smash that subscribe button, because I do AI Dungeon 2 videos every day. This is your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black the One Only, logging out. Peace, guys. Chicken the gal.